no sugar banana pancake let me show you how to do it come let's make banana pancake i already told you to stop throwing away your brown bananas so that's what we're going to use yeah it goes we're going to use four these are really small ones instead of using like five small bananas we're going to go ahead to mash Mash, mash. It doesn't need to be smooth. You don't need to blend it, but you can blend it if you want. But you don't need to, like, really. Sometimes I also mash with my whisk. It doesn't matter what you use. So this is what it looks like. This is what you're looking for. You don't need to blend. I'll say it again. I'm going to need three eggs. Let's add our eggs. and the third one I'm going to add some cold cream so let's add two heaped tablespoons this will also add a little bit more protein because this is very high protein that's the one I got we're going to add some vanilla flavor here you go good to the flour we are going to add about 10 grams of baking powder there it goes don't forget salt just a pinch of salt that's not a pinch you could add sugar to this if you want you could, but i'm not going to add extra sugar they are probably going to use some syrup or powdered sugar for it so i don't need extra because this is banana pancake and it's usually like a little bit sweet and to our wet ingredients we are going to also add about 100 gram butter mix 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 ready to receive the flour mixture guys let's go you can see it's too thick so we're going in with about let's say 100 ml of milk first let's go i usually don't measure my ingredients okay so i'm going to add another 100 ml milk that means 200 ml we're going in again with another 100 ml about that so some people like this consistency but i'm just going to do just a little bit more so i added all together one glass of milk and a little bit more it looks good i don't want it too watery i want something that will just be perfect there are different types of pancakes. If you want the one that is spreading all over your pan, that's also okay. If it's perfect for me, there's no sugar. You know, there's no sugar in it. So this will allow the children use any type of sugary syrup or whatever they want on it. If they want to use jam, if they want um, syrup, if they want like basically anything. So this butter doesn't need a lot of sugar because it's already a little bit sweet. Just a little bit. So you're going to take your pan let your pan heat up a little bit and then reduce the heat then we're going to add some oil some people like to oil my pan a little bit just like so and there you go i'm going to find something to you let's use this half cup I'm going to reduce a little bit to six. You want your pancake to cook through. This is a huge mistake. Don't do this. And then you want to turn your pancake when it gets a little bit of this hose on it. So that you know that it has cooked through from the other side. To flip. That's perfect, isn't it? See? Can see this one is also getting the holes but we're going to wait a little bit more and then that's it there you go 
look at that look at that so there you go again you just let it brown how you want it it's, it doesn't have to be as brown as mine We're going to use the homemade syrup that my son made. It's just sugar and cinnamon. cinnamon. Yeah.